Hello Divination and welcome. Coming up in today's video, I'll be showing you how to style Divi's full screen menu. Let's dive in and let me show you. So before we can start implementing our design, we're going to need a few things in place. So first of all, we're going to be using some CSS code and uh, if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will include a link to the CSS code in the show notes below. Secondly, we're also going to need an image which is which has dimensions of about 1920 by 1080 pixels. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to log into our WordPress admin dashboard. But before I do that, I need to explain that uh, the page I'm using here is just pretty much one of our predefined layouts. So this is just what I'm going to use as a guide. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to my admin dashboard. And the first thing we need to do is to come over here to Divi. Click on Theme Customizer. And then we need to come over here to header and navigation. Click on header format. And then here on the header style, we need to change this to full screen. Like that. Okay, so now that we have this set, we just need to go back one more step and we need to adjust our slide in and full screen header settings. So let's go into this. So let's start off with our, our menu text size. So this needs to be 46 pixels. Top bar text size, this needs to be set to 24. And for our font, we need to use Playfair. So I'll just scroll all the way down until I find Playfair display. There we go. And then here we're going to make it bold. And uh, we're going to set the color to white. So here it's already set to white, so that's good. And then our active link color, I'm just going to paste this hex decimal color. And our top bar text color needs to be white. Okay, so now that we have all this set, let's go back one more step and we need to go into we need to go into header elements because this is where we get to set our social icons, our search phone number and email. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna um, check the social uh, so social icons and I'm also gonna add the um, search button. So what I'm gonna do next here is to enter my phone number. So I'm just gonna add just some numbers in there and I'm also going to add an email address so this needs to be obviously your real email address so I'm going to go ahead now and save and publish so now that we have all this set let's take a look at how the page looks now so I'm going to come over here to a new tab I'm going to hit refresh and we can see now that our navigation here has changed now we have these hamburger icons so I'm going to click over here and now this is what it should look so far so now it's time to add our CSS. So I'm going to come over back here until I get to additional CSS. So I'm going to click on additional CSS and I'm going to paste my CSS code here. Now this, po this code that I've just pasted targets screens that have a minimum width of 980 pixels. Okay, so the next I need to add some more CSS code and I'm going to paste it here as well. So this CSS code adjusts the navigation menu. Okay, so now that I have this in place, the next CSS code I'm going to add increases the size of my search bar. So I'm just going to paste that in. So let me save and publish and let's take a look at what it looks like so far. So again, I'm going to come over here and refresh. So if I click here, we can see now that our search has been um, styled and also the page itself has been styled. So my next CSS code is going to make my menu right aligned. So I'm just going to paste it in there. Next, we're going to make the menu icon larger. So again, I'm going to paste my CSS code. And by the way, if you'd like to follow along step by step with the CSS code that we're using throughout this tutorial, you can find it in the post that I've linked in the show notes below. Okay, so I'm going to add some more CSS code. Now this code increases the down arrow of the sub menu items. So again, I'm going to save and publish, and then we're going to do a quick refresh and take a look at what our page looks like. So I'm going to refresh, and then I'm going to click my hamburger icon. Wow, so you can see now that really, really looks beautiful. Okay, so what, and also here we can see the size of um, our icon here has also been increased. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add a background image because uh, rather than have this color here, we need to have a background image. So that's what we're going to do next. And with this CSS code, you can see here where it says insert 
image URL. So this is where now we need to go into our media library and locate the image that we need to use and then we need to paste it in there. So I'm going to come over here and go into my media library. So I'm going to click on dashboard, click on media, media library. And the image that we're going to use is this one right here. So next I'm going to come over here to the URL and I'm going to highlight it, copy it, and that's what we're going to paste. So I'm going to come back over here to my CSS and replace this text which says image uh, insert image URL with my actual URL. And then I'm going to save and publish. Okay, so now that I've added my image, let's take a look one more time and see if this has worked. So I'm going to come over here and visit our site. And now I'm going to click on my hamburger icon. And now we can see that we have a background image and this looks really, really beautiful. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.